It's the age-old American ethos. If you want to be more successful, you have to work harder. But the United Auto Workers Union members don't seem to agree. They want more money for less work. In the past performance, it doesn't exactly strengthen their case. Between 2012 and 2022, vehicle manufacturing productivity, it tanked a massive 32 percent. And striking workers cost the U.S. more than 4 million working days last month alone. Here now, Fox News contributor and London Institute senior fellow, DeRoy Murdoch. Productivity problem with our factory workers, DeRoy. Yeah, a little bit. And, and uh, you know, you see what the UAW wants. They want to have a 40 percent increase in pay. But then they want a 20% reduction in work. They want to work uh, from 40 hours down to 32, which is pretty much statistically equal to saying, well, rather than work Monday through Friday, we want to work Monday through Thursday, and every weekend's a three-day weekend. Um, so I, I, I'm very sympathetic to them as far as the whole ele electric vehicle mandate. Now that's hurting them, and people shouldn't be forced to buy to manufacture cars that people don't want to purchase. It's a total waste of time and effort and money. Uh, but this idea of you know pay me 40% more and I'm going to show up four days a week rather than five, I, I think that's untenable. It is. Can't, you, you can't run an economy that way. But that's, yeah. that, it seems like that's what everybody wants. They want to work less and get paid more. <laughs> and again, instead of going, I'm just going to work really hard. Yeah. Right? That's, that's my secret to success. COVID killed the American work ethic. Yeah, it did, the, sadly. The problem is that Biden keeps bragging about, oh, look at all this, uh, the, the jobs created in the factory activity. It's because you're subsidizing it. Yeah. You get more. I keep saying you get more what you subsidize yeah. because it's because you're pouring money into it, That's and then right. it will go poof when the money stops. It's the magic of economic distortions. Yeah, you pay for something, it, you get this artificial, if you will, sugar high from the subsidies, and the subsidies vanish, and the thing collapses because there's no no actual uh, sensible basis underneath then, whatever it is. You're, you're then producing. reality sets in. Yeah. Well, let's get to this because the student loan payment startup. They start up again this month, but that hasn't stopped President Biden from trying to bail out more student loan borrowers. His latest handout, $37 million to more than 1,200 borrowers who attended the University of Phoenix. The administration claiming the school misled students about job prospects. In total, his White House has canceled more than $117 billion in student loan debt at the expense of taxpayers. DeRoy, I mean, again, when, when you talk about the University of Phoenix, Phoenix strong. Um, <laughs> uh, We're like Phoenix. The huh? problem is, all these schools are lying to kids. I mean, you're a gender study major. You're studying the environment. The, the, the cost to the child or the kid, the young person, and the job prospects—they're distorted, and everyone's doing it. Yeah, that's true of a lot of places. You go to very elite universities, which are yeah. Ivy Leagues, et cetera. You get this wonderful degree in uh, you know, Elizabethan sociology or what have you. Uh, and then you get your job at Starbucks and stay there because you're, you're not making your $250,000 you thought you'd be making. Conversely, there are people who don't go to college. They, they get degree, uh, degree uh, certificates in welding and carpentry. And after you know five, six, seven years, they're well into six digits. Yeah. By the way, without, with very little, if any, student debt. I mean, the, the simple thing should be if you borrowed money, pay it back. I got student loans. I paid my back, mine back. Uh, these people are not taking loans at gunpoint. You know, you better take that loan. No, they signed up for it. They signed the paper saying, I promise to pay it back. And now Joe Biden says, oh, don't bother. Just, uh, you know, just have one on me. It's a free one. I like That's to look one. at in reverse. He is screwing over a majority of Americans who do not have four-year degree. That's it, Intentionally. Exactly. And those of us who paid our loans back. I mean, if these people don't pay their loans back, do I get a refund? And I gladly take, take a refund for all that money I sent, uh, I sent in for the student loans I paid off after I got out of college. It was painful. I paid mine for a long time. Yeah, you bet. Got them done. Mm -hmm. Ray Murdoch, it was a pleasure. Thank Great you. Great to see you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so you. much. As well.